Welcome to our lesson about audio playback. In this tutorial, we're going to be playing back the audio recording that we created in our previous lesson. This thick vertical line that crosses the project window indicates our position on the ruler or timeline. We're going to learn how to change the timeline's units of measurement later on. To get to the beginning of a song, we can press the Go to Zero button on the transport controls. Now let's take a look at my track. Notice that this monitor is on. This means I'm going to hear input. Now in order to hear what I've already got, or my output, I need to turn the monitor off. I can also access the monitor right from the inspector panel as well. Now let's press the play or start button. And we press the stop button or the space bar on your keyboard when you want to stop playback. There's obviously some shortcuts for starting and stopping playback. As I've mentioned, you can press the space bar on your computer to both start and stop playback. Don't you cry. Another shortcut is to press the enter key on your numerical keypad. Press the zero key on the keypad to stop playback. I'd say the method you'll end up using the most is pressing the space bar. It just seems to be the easiest. And see the ruler at the top of the window? You can double click in the lower half of the ruler to start playback and double click again to stop the playback. Let's go back to zero. Each track has an S button. And if I press this, this will solo the track unless other tracks are also in solo state, such as my vocal track below. An alternative would be to press the M button for mute, and this will silence any track where the mute button is yellow or active. And this concludes our lesson on how to play back the audio that you've recorded.